Tonight, newly named Estelle taking the spotlight away from Derby. And now the latest around the wide world of tropics. Tropical Weather Bulletin for July 17th. Derby on its last legs as a tropical storm, Estelle newly named already a hurricane and still strengthening, bringing the total number of storms so far this year in 2022 to 36. I should also mention that nothing else is active in other parts of the world tonight. So, in the Atlantic, there is still nothing to report on over here on day 47 of hurricane season with not even an invest, an area of interest to speak of. There is absolutely nothing over in this part of the world. Over in the Eastern Pacific, however, tonight we have Darby on its last legs as it weakens just to the south of Hawaii and newly named Estelle, uh, now a hurricane just off the coast of Mexico. More on these systems momentarily. Over on the other side of the Pacific, however, there is once again nothing to speak of over here as once again there are no invests, no tropical storms, no areas of interest, no nothing active over in this part of the world. 96A still remains over in the Arabian Sea, but it is so close to land that we have stuck with our initial 0% chance of formation for this system to develop within five days. Viewing satellite imagery for the Atlantic, once again, nothing tropical is ongoing in this part of the world. However, over in the Eastern Pacific, Derby is dying just to the south of Hawaii and Estelle uh, looking rather photogenic, I should mention now a hurricane per NHC uh, BT track uh, just off the coast of Mexico and it is still strengthening. Uh, no tropical activity is occurring over in the Western Pacific um, and other than looking like a huge mess for lack of a better term, uh, nothing is expected to develop over in this part of the world for the time being. 96A remains out and about, but like I said earlier, it has no chance of forming into anything noteworthy due to its close proximity to land. Don't forget, you can go to our merch store where you can buy things such as individual animations, mugs, or your very own pillow in which you can use to rest your weary head after a long, hard day's work of tracking storms whilst keeping Force 13 on your mind. Also worth mentioning is our lineup of Hone shirts marking over 1,000 days of hyping up a storm which doesn't even exist. Uh, moving on, Derby remains on its last legs. Uh, once again, it is not expected to last much longer as it is expected to become a post-tropical system in just a few hours time if it hasn't done so already. Meanwhile, I say newly named Estelle. Uh, it is now Hurricane Estelle, despite what this cone is telling you. Uh, it is expected to continue strengthening by quite a bit, becoming well, it's already become a hurricane. My notes say becoming a hurricane in a few hours time. It has done that. It is now a hurricane, but it is expected to strengthen even further, becoming a major hurricane in just a few days time. So here's a closer look at Derby, currently located at 17.7 degrees north and 155.5 degrees west, with a wind speed of, one of 40 miles an hour, excuse me, and a central pressure of 1,007 millibars. Derby is on a weakening trend, a terminal weakening trend, uh, which places it as a remnant low in just a few hours from now. Oh, look, the animation's done before I'm even talking. Uh, as a remnant low in a few hours from now before completely dissipating just to the south of the Hawaiian island chain. Meanwhile, here is, I say, newly formed uh, Hurricane Estelle, currently located at 14.2 degrees north and 104.4 degrees west. I'm not sure if those coordinates are accurate right about now, because obviously I was I was as I was making this, it was a tropical storm. It is now a hurricane. Uh, Estelle 
is expected to strengthen uh, quite substantially as it moves toward the northwest, potentially into a category three major hurricane as the animation will play out for you uh, right now in just a few days before weakening after the fact. Uh, will this forecast hold true? It certainly seems it, uh, but, who, but who knows? We can only wait and see to find out. Here are the multimodal diagnostics for Derby. Essentially the consensus here is that Derby is down and out with no more surprises up its sleeve. The fact is contributing to its demise is the fact that Shear is already up at 20 knots and will only skyrocket off the charts as time progresses. Sea surface temperatures are also no longer favourable for tropical cyclone development as they are below the 26 degree threshold needed for said tropical cyclone development. Mid-level relative humidity is also headed on its way down to unfavorable levels with no sign of heading back up to levels that are favorable for development. I believe that threshold is roughly around 60%. For Estelle, the model diagnostics tell a completely different story. Intensification of up to major status is expected in a few days time due to the shear being relatively decent despite the model split that you're seeing on your screen right about now. And sea surface temperatures whilst they are dropping are still favourable for development but only for a limited time while stocks last. Uh, Mid-level relative humidity also remains favourable for a good while for this system. Uh, moving on to the sea surface temperatures, the Western Pacific remains piping hot with temperatures of 29 to 30 degrees Celsius, uh, Bay of Bengal remaining roughly around 28 degrees, the Arabian Sea remaining 27 to 28 with temperatures off the coast of Somalia significantly cooler. And the tropical Atlantic remains nice and toasty with waters reaching around 28 degrees over in that part of the world of the Gulf of Mexico, however, remaining uh, with temperatures of 29 to 30 degrees. Uh, the tropical Eastern Pacific remains largely 28 and finally the Central Pacific registering 27 to 28 degrees if I'm reading that correctly. Correctly. Uh, moving on to the sea surface temperature anomalies, the eastern and central Pacific mostly below average but waters off the coast of Mexico are warmer than average, I should say Mexico on the um, Pacific side of things. Uh, the western Pacific still remains warmer than average uh, as always, the Atlantic pretty much above but there is quite a hard to miss pocket of below average in the subtropics. The Bay of Bengal mostly above average with some isolated spots of below average. The Arabian Sea practically mostly above but a pocket uh, just off the coast of Somalia extending into the purples meaning significantly below average. Oceanic heat content in the Atlantic is slowly expanding and is most prevalent in areas such as the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean indicated by the red that you're currently seeing on your screen. Uh, the Western Pacific is full of energy with a lot of red towards the east of the Philippines. However, if you compare that to the Eastern and Central Pacific, it's really just quite sad as there isn't much energy present present in those basins compared over to the Western Pacific. Don't, don't get me wrong, it is still there, it's just not as, um, what's the word, prevalent, uh, let's say, as it is over in the Western Pacific. On this day brings us all the way back to 1996 where we had <clears throat> where we had Typhoon E which attained category 4 status for the second time I believe shortly before striking Japan at category 4 intensity uh, I should mention uh, it had also just come off a category 5 peak down to category 3 and strengthened back up to category 4 like I said for the second time before striking Japan uh, it is also worth mentioning that nothing else was active worldwide today, July 17th, all the way back in 1996. So that brings us to the next names in each respective naming list. First up is the Atlantic where the next name here is Danielle followed by Earl. Up next in the Eastern Pacific is Frank followed by Georgette. And up next in the Central Pacific, I've lost count of how many times I've said this, the next name is Hone. 
Up next in the Western Pacific, uh, the final name on list four is Songda. Before we begin list five with Trusses, I hope I've pronounced that name correctly. Apologies if I have not. Up next in the North Indian Ocean is Citrang, followed by Mandus. Up next in the Australian region is Darien, followed by Ellie. First up in the Southwest Indian Ocean is Ashley, followed by Balita. Once again, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Apologies if I have not. And finally, up next in the South Pacific is Hale, Harley, I think, uh, followed by Irene. That's all from me for now. We'll see you for another Tropical Weather Bulletin tomorrow night.